Hello! Today we're going to be doing another deck review, but before we get started, I do want to remind everyone that we put out new deck reviews all the time, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can follow along. Now, let's get to the cards. Today we're going to be reviewing the Nicholas Conver Tarot, which is a Majors Only Edition. It's a Marseille Tarot deck. It's by Christina Condor and William Rader at Artisan Tarot. So again, this is a restored Marseille deck, and it's going to be majors only. So you're looking at 22 cards, and it does come with a bonus two of pentacles, which is kind of neat there. Um, the card itself, it didn't come in a box. It came with this wrap, which I just took off here. It's perfect for the slim size of the majors only, so that you don't feel like you're toting this huge box around. I just, I felt like it was a perfect size, to be honest with you. The cardstock, it's like a nice linen feel to it. It feels like a really good quality playing card. Um, the 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 colors bright, vibrant. I mean, really, you know what the colors make me think of? The colors are like when you see art and you think to yourself, what did that look like, you know, way back when, when they first did it? How did those colors look on the, on the paper there? They look like this. It just pop, vibrant. It's really, really nice. I love how they came across. Um, the backs, let me show you a good view of the back here check that out that's different right it's an updated color scheme and a more modernized pattern and it is completely reversible which is great so let me talk about the imagery on this deck the imagery it's it's not a deck where we're looking for original artwork this is a restoration so the artist really focused on sharpening what was already there a unique thing about this deck is while keeping to the authenticity of the deck, the artists were able to just add small little modern touches to it, such as adjusting the card size to a size we're more familiar with, the more modern tarot size instead of the, you know, the small little ones. So for someone with the size of a hands like mine, I love it. <laughs> it made the Marseille um, a lot more easier for me to handle and shuffle and things like that. Also, just filling in some of the missing little missing pieces of some of the pictures they finished it off perfectly you're gonna see what I mean in a, in a few minutes here when we get to looking at the cards so it does lead me into my favorite thing about the deck which is just the intent the intent the intent so much research was was just undertaken in this deck itself um, I know they reviewed multiple versions of the Nicholas Convert decks that are carried by the National Library of France just to you know name one thing that they did and they looked at multiple ones and it took so much time I mean permissions can you imagine and all of that lovely intent has been put into this deck for us to use love it I'm really excited to show you what they came up with so let me go ahead and show you the cards
So welcome back. Um, now I'm going to be showing you my three favorite cards from the deck, which were the Emperor, the Chariot, and the Star. It was a little bit different experience for me choosing my three favorite cards out of a restored Marseille deck. It was more about finding the things, the small little things that I appreciated in, in the restoration that just kind of rounded it out. So let me start with the Emperor here. There we go. We have our Emperor. Can you see that there? Lovely. Father, stability, leadership. We get to see what the back of his chair looks like here. Also, I like that they gave the image a bit more depth with the way the shield lays in front of the chair there. Next, we have the chariot. Here we go. There's our chariot. Movement, achievement, action. Our horses get real legs here in the middle. Small update, but makes the card feel more finished. This is something I have seen updated on other decks as well, so I'm glad it was noted. Same for the wheel, which has been finished a bit more. And last but not least, we have our star. Here we go. Yeah, you see that there? Okay. Inspiration, opportunity, talent. Small update filling in some of the background. And it's just the small touches like this that really round out this restoration. Small things easily overlooked are buffed to a shine without altering the original intent. Fantastic. So this deck does not have a cost that I know of right now. It's a kind of to be determined. There is an Indiegogo campaign coming up. And if you follow the, um, the website, the Artisan Tarot website, I'll go ahead and link that there below. But check it out and there'll be a link to the Indiegogo campaign back this campaign. I mean, there's so much intent that was put into this cards. It's definitely worth looking into. And, um, you know, if they hadn't sent me this deck, I still would have purchased it more than likely. It's just, it's really nice. I love things that just have all that intent put into it and the love and the interest and it's all there. And I'm really excited in my journey as I can continue to use these cards. So definitely check it out there. That's it for our deck review today. Um, if you have any questions about this deck or if you have a different a different Nicholas Converse deck or if you have any questions about Artisan Tarot, please leave me a comment below. Let me know. I'd love to talk to you and hear about it. And that will be it for today. So until next time.